Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. And it's Alex. As soon as I start talking to myself, he comes running. Um, I have a pretty decent Dollar Tree haul for you. And uh, today's drink is from Tim Hortons. It's iced tea. <gasps> Look at this cup. I love the maple leaf on the back. I'm not sure when they change it up, but it makes me happy. This is actually a refill of iced tea that I have here at home. Got my baby, the fat boy. This cat is chub-tastic. Oh, he said don't do that. Um, and Wellington wants to go outside. He's sitting by the door. It's going to rain, though. Maybe. I don't know. But I have a Dollar Tree haul for you, and I thought I would share my finds. Uh, first, I did go to Volunteers of America, and I got this awesome embroidery hoop that I'm going to use to do a macrame on. I loved the shape. And I got it for, can you see it? A dollar and 91 cents. And I love it. It's definitely the wood. I think it's made of wood. And it is a 12 by 20 made in Taiwan. So I'll take it apart and use it. And it was a dollar and 91 cents. I think that's a great price. So I grabbed that. All right, now for my Dollar Tree finds. I did go to two different Dollar Trees, and I will show you what I got. So first thing I picked up, these aren't new, but I grabbed a couple of them. Um, the file folders, I'm just starting to clean up and store my important documents, like birth certificates, social security card, passport information, stuff like that. So I grabbed two because I wasn't sure, and I liked this one, but I don't know that I like the closure, but we'll see. So I grabbed two of them. I need to go through my folders and all my stuff and just kind of organize important documents. And then I can put a stick, like this comes off real easy. Um, and then I can just put a sticker on it and label what's in it, you know. Almost like an inventory. It says easy peel, but there's just a little more on here. There. I got it off and then I can put like a label down here and kind of put what's in it so when I'm looking for specific documents I will know where to find them and then I'll put those in my big filing system because that's how I roll all right let me move my feet oh I got this mug which is clear glass I'm not even sure how many ounces this is but I want to put a cr um, cricket something on it because I'm going to get my cricket out and I thought how fun would that be to design. Maybe I'll put my crazy life on it and use it for my coffee mug. I don't know, but I thought that was fun. It's really greasy or something though. It's going through the dishwasher. It came off the shelf like that. Alex, get out of the, he is in the curtains. Get out of the curtains. He is in the curtains. That cat's crazy. Come here, Alex. You come here. You come here. Okay, I found for my little cousin, who knew that scrunchies were a thing again? I'm going to take one out. These are neat. They're um, not Dollar Tree brand. De they're distributed by Royal Deluxe Accessories out of New York. Just fashion accessories, but look at that. It's like a silky satiny scrunchie. Um, and she plays softball, and her team colors are red, white, and blue. So I thought, how fun would that be for her to have a little scrunchie for her hair, because she wears it up if she wants. So I got her a red, a white, and a blue that she can wear whenever, but she can also wear when she is um, playing softball. And they're pretty light, so I don't think they'll bother her, but I grabbed those for um, my little cousin Addie. So she'll need those. I have to get those to her mom. I picked up a pack, another pack of these for a very bizarre reason, and actually a coworker told me about it. So, as you can see, I'm wearing my Pelotonia shirt. This is um, says the greatest team ever. It's a bike ride that I do every year in August. It's in about a month. It's August 3rd this year, and we raise money for cancer research, and there's about 8,000 riders over that weekend. And we do, I'm gonna only be able to do 25 miles since my surgery, but I normally do 45, but I'm happy just to participate. Anyway, being on keto, I um, drink pickle juice 
while I'm riding I put with Gatorade, but I do the pickle juice and he puts them in these little bottles because my baggies tend to break and they're messy, but this is not. So I can put pickle juice in these three. I can freeze them and then they'll fit in my, my back. Um, cycling shirts have back pockets and I have a thing on my bike so I can store these to, um, yeah, keep my pickle juice in. And I'll wash them first. And in the kitchen section, I found these, which are great, because I do store a lot of food in the freezer. And these are just patty squares. It is great for cold cuts, sliced cheese, frozen steaks, chocolate, caramel, taffy, and more. 100 sheets. And it's wax paper, so you don't want to cook with this, but you can certainly freeze it. And if you can see here, you just use it to separate your food. So when you want to get it out, you can. I'm assuming you could also use these for crafts since it's wax. Yeah, it's wax paper. So yeah, it was 100 sheets of it. I thought that was a great buy for a dollar. And I do use my freezer a lot for food. So there, I grabbed that. Sticking into the kitchen items. Oh, sorry, stuff's in front of me and I'm having a hard time reaching today. I went down to therapy, physical therapy once a week. Oh, and he killed me yesterday. Andrew, if you're watching, you killed me. In a good way. I mean, we got some good rub and some good stretch, but it's sore today. So... There's that. Um, for our coworker, I picked up these four packs of fudge stripe minis for her lunch. She was mentioning at lunch that she likes these little things, so I thought I would grab one for her. And they're great for lunches. They're bringing out the back to school stuff already, so this is definitely something if you've got kids, the pack. I don't know if it's a value or not. I guess I don't know, but I didn't think it was a bad deal for a dollar, for a quarter, for a pack, a little baggie of snacks. And these are good until November. And then for my trip coming up in a couple weeks, um, for my cousins, little Abby and Riley, I grabbed two of these four packs of Cheez-Its for the ride and for the hotel and stuff. And this is the original cheddar and then white cheddar. And they were four individual packs. And these are great for the car. Snacks for kids, throw them in your bag. Um, and these are, or lunches actually, these are good um the cheddar is good until october 30th of 19 and this is good until september so they'll get eaten on vacation so i'm not really worried about that for my desk at work i just grabbed a couple more of the hawaiian punch sugar-free blue uh grape and fruit punch and i like those and it's no cheaper or more expensive than anywhere else so i just pick them up now, in the school supply section, which they're not, my stores are not really stocked yet, but I've seen a few things and I wanted to grab them. I think this is adorable. It's for your 24 count pack of crayons. I mean, this says, this is a Jot product, but you can use it with your Crayolas that you're going to get for a quarter coming up soon. You slide your box in here or just the crayons in here and it keeps it from getting all mangled. I thought that was genius. Not that I need crayons, but you know, whatever. So I grabbed one of those. I saw it in this color. I saw it, I don't know, there was other colors. Like a purple, a blue maybe. And then this clear, cleary, frosty white. I just thought it was a great thing to have. And it is a Greenbrier product. Um, Jot put it out. Like I'm taking this Jot off. I'm apparently all about peeling stickers today, but it came off just that easy and put Crayola crayons in it. For your kids, for, I will probably just put it in with my craft stuff. I use crayons on occasion, um, or I'll give it to my cousin for her daughter, little Addison for school supply keeping and her craft stuff. I mean, I don't, she'll use crayons much more than I will. I'm not sure why I'm obsessed with peeling stickers right now, but it's just a thing. All right, I'm gonna stop. I will get the other ones in a moment. I have a bag over here to put trash in. All right. And then I found this little gem. OMG. I was like, what is this thing? Okay, well, what it is, first and foremost, it's a pink pom-pom. And it's super fluffy. And then on this little rubber loop, it has some lip gloss hanging. And then this little loop opens up and you can hang it from your backpack. 
Is that not genius? I think so. And I believe that they have sell other chappy sticks that come with these loops that you could do. And this is just fresh peach scented lip gloss. Ooh, yeah. Think Bonnie Bell. But I thought that was adorable. And I'm going to look for chapsticks with sunblock that have the sport cap on it because I know I've seen them and use this when I travel on my backpack because I'm forever chapping up. I mean, this is cute, but I think the chapstick would be better. So yeah, I grabbed that for one shiny dollar. And then the last thing I got, this was in the teaching tree section and these are foil die cut letters. How cute is that? I'm thinking the holidays. Do you want to write some words? And these are not sticky back and they're pretty thick. They're like a card, a thin cardboard or poster board. And they, you punch them out. And I just thought that would be so fun to make something. I don't know. I love letters. So I grabbed one of those. They had them in this color. I saw them in like a bright blue, maybe a green, but I liked the red. Or Valentine's Day, you could spell love. I know. You get 86 letters, so four A's, two B's. Oh, you even get question mark, exclamation point, period, comma, a dash. Nice. How many V's do you get? You only get one. But I think if you use the right glue, you can make many signs. But I grabbed one of those. Um, and then I picked up in the kitchen section. Ow, ow, ow. Another pack of the cupcake liners. I used some the other day to make brookies, and these are, they worked really well, so I grabbed one more pack. These are the black and white. And you get 50 in here, which is not a bad deal. So I grabbed those. Um, I picked up for vacation a double pack of, pack of sponges. We have to bring like cleaning stuff in the condo we're renting. Um, so yeah, I grabbed two sponges. I figured that'll get us through kitchen cleanup. And then I'm going to be doing a craft video and you will probably see the DIY before you see this haul. But I picked up to do the DIY some of these pot holders. And I'm going to tell you the pot holders are pretty thin. I don't know that I would cook with them, but I'm going to DIY with them. And I grabbed these three colors. I have, And then I grabbed to go with them these two hand towels. And I believe I have more hand towels upstairs. So, but at that DIY project will probably be out before this Dollar Tree haul. But this is just a rooster and it says Farm Fresh. And this one says, a hot fresh coffee is the best way to start your day. And these aren't bad. These are 100% cotton. No, these ones are 59% cotton, 41% polyester. Yeah, they're 59 cotton. Alex, we're not scratching furniture. Why does he do that? Come here, Bob. He likes to scratch my wood and I don't know why. And then the rooster, just as far and fresh. I thought these were super cute and this is gonna be a fun DIY project later. Oh, and I forgot in the snacks, they have Chipotle peanuts. Come here, Dub, or Alex. They're gonna have, they have Chipotle. OMG, I've already opened them and they are so good. Oh, dropped it. They are spicy, but not, not burn your mouth. But there's a heat to them. Mmm, so good. I'm gonna have to get some more of those for my snacks. Oh, he's gonna lay down and rest now. He's done wreaking havoc. He'll take a breather. He'll take a breather now. And the last thing I got, not the last thing. I picked up this kit. It's a men's grooming kit, scissors, and a little comb for like their beards and mustaches and facial hair. I have a gift coming up with these, some Dollar Tree and not Dollar Tree items. That's going to be a, a Christmas gift for a relative of mine, but I will share it with you. And it's a grooming kit for a guy. So I picked up one of these, which I think is perfect. Actually, I got two. because that's how I roll. That was a small peanut be choking on. 
Anyway, I grabbed two of those because I think they're going to be perfect and I think they're going to go fast. And that is a green briar. But I think it's scissors and comb, but it's for men's. So I grabbed that. And then if you have any little girls in your life that you're going to do the advent calendar with me for Christmas in July, I don't know that this will actually fit in those little containers, but I picked these up. These are perfect stocking stuffers or um, advent calendar gifts if you're going to do like a beauty advent or something. And this is two little bottles of nail polish and it's glitter in this teal color. These are for my little cousin because I think she'll love this color. And I just think these are perfect. They are the perfect little tiny gift. And it's LA Colors. Um, that's who distributes it. But they're just little, two little bottles and they're complimentary. And perfect. Perfect little like stocking, gifty idea. You can even tie it on the outside of a gift. Or it will go with my next item. In a minute. So I grabbed this. This is glitter bath bombs. What? What? There's gold glitter in them. It says add one bath bomb to warm water and indulge. This is put out by Blue Cross Laboratory, so it is not a Greenbrier product. It's not a Dollar Tree product. Um, but there's three bath bombs in here with gold glitter in them. It doesn't say if it has a shine, but it just says let your sparkle shine fizzy bath bombs. It doesn't say if it has a scent. Um, it says fragrance. So these glitter bath bombs... And then I picked up, Valero's coming out with some new product, and this is a pomegranate green tea shower steamer. What? And look at the packaging on this. Is this not beautiful packaging? It, I just feel like the, the packaging elevates the product. Yes, I paid a dollar for it, but I feel like the packaging makes it look like so much more. Um, and it's three shower steamers, and this is pomegranate green tea, like I said. And what you do is you open one up, you put it in your shower, and while you're taking a hot shower, it steams, and it makes it smell. This melts, and your whole shower will smell like pomegranate green tea. Oh, I'm excited to try that. So I grabbed one of those, and it says, uh, directions, place tablet on your shower floor or shelf where it gets wet but it's not in the main water stream. As it fizzes, the aroma is released. So you don't want to put it like in your drain. Well, I guess you could put it down there because your shower is going on you and the water is dissolving, but you probably want to stick it like on a shelf where it will get some moisture, but not dissolve right away, I think is the point there. But anyway, some shower steamers. And then they had out new face masks. And look at the, pa again, the packaging. So I got, again, all that glitzes. Um, this one is pomegranate green tea paper mask and they're all moisturizing which I like this is coconut aloe vera paper facial mask free of paraben and dye moisturize and brighten you and that's coconut and then this one is blueberry bliss your new secret weapon for soft smooth skin but look at the packaging can you imagine a gift with some bath bombs, a shower melt, some face masks, and then some eye nail polish. And you get some moisturizer and put together the most beautiful, colorful gift for Christmas, for Mother's Day, for birthdays, for the teen, a graduation gift, and then tuck a gift card in there. I just feel like if you're doing the holidays, and I know I'm kind of harping about Christmas, but it's getting to be that time, and if you're doing Christmas on a budget, and you've got some young girls in your life, this is, this stuff is bank. You can put together a beautiful, fun uh, beauty basket for a teen girl, nail polish, nail files, clippers, all kinds of fun stuff, and they would love it. And then I would throw in a Starbucks card if they like coffee drinks or funny, you know, foo foo drinks and stuff. But if not, like a $5 one. I just feel like this stuff is so pretty. And the packaging makes it. I mean, even just the face masks. And I don't feel like these are dangerous. It's just glycol, glycerin, aloe, and extracts. There's nothing harmful. There's no acids in these. These are not like silicilic, hydrolonic, all those facial. This is not acid-based. These are moisturizing. They're, I don't think they're gonna hurt anybody. They're pretty harmless even for like your younger folk, as far as I know. I could be wrong, but and I'm not a doctor or a scientist. I'm just telling you what I think. 
but I just think they're beautiful and would make the most awesome gift basket gift idea. Start now. You know, get, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six dollars, seven dollars if you get the nail polish. And you've got a great start to a fun gift for the girl, some lady in your life. But that is everything I got today. I hope you have a great week and I will talk to you later. Bye. Have a good one.